this is an amazing story. Back in 2022, I get a very interesting text from one of my high school classmates, uh, Sam Fisher. And Sam's boys and his nephew are really interested in fossils. And so over the last few years, Sam would send me uh, pictures of he and his boys and his nephew out looking for fossils. And he'd send me a picture of like a piece of petrified wood or some snail shells. And I'd text back like, it's a cool fossil, not a dinosaur, but keep looking. And then in July of 2022, Sam sends me this picture of his youngest boy, Liam, uh, laying down next to the leg of a dinosaur. And it was just so cool. Uh, I was just so thrilled for him because they finally found a dinosaur. I know that he and the boys had been out looking for several years and at la long last they found this, this cool dinosaur. When I got the photo, uh, you know, I was, I was zooming in, looking at the pieces, and it was the side of a, sort of the, the knee joint of this dinosaur. And I couldn't really tell, based on the photo, uh, what kind of dinosaur it was. To me, it looked a bit like a duckbill dinosaur, which is, it's the second most common dinosaur uh, in these badlands. So it was a pretty safe uh, bet. And so that's what I, what I thought it was. And it wasn't until later when I really started to scrutinize the photo uh, that I start to have some suspicions that it might be part of a Tyrannosaurus rex. The Badlands in North and South Dakota is one of the best places in the world to find dinosaurs. It preserves America's last dinosaur ecosystem right before they go extinct 66 million years ago. And they also preserve some of the most famous dinosaurs like Triceratops, the duckbill dinosaur, Edmontosaurus, and then of course the most famous of them all, Tyrannosaurus rex. The day before we started the excavation, the boys and their dad took us, uh, my crew, out to the locality to show us what they had found. And we were looking at the pieces of the, of the broken up bone as the bone weathers out of the hill and it breaks up. And the way in which the bone was breaking up, it was breaking up sort of like broken porcelain, was very similar to that of meat-eating dinosaurs. And then on July 3rd, we go there uh, and we you know, pick up all the pieces of broken bone and then we, I started digging on, in an area where I thought I'd find a diagnostic bone. I thought I was digging where I was going to find a neck bone. Sam's oldest boy, Jessen, and I were digging and brushing and digging and brushing. And all of a sudden I brush and a T-Rex tooth about this big pops off. And I pick it up, I look at Jessen, he gasps. He and I like share this moment and then I start brushing where the tooth came out and we could see three more teeth all lined up in a row. We had just uncovered the lower jaw of this juvenile T-Rex specimen. It was just one of the most remarkable, remarkable moments. There were many aspects of this dig that were challenging. I mean, I was really nervous about leaving the specimen on the outcrop after we had exposed it, uh, you know, to the weather, to hailstorms. I mean, I just didn't want it to get damaged. And then I think the, the moment that was most nerve wracking for me was the helicopter lift. We had estimated it was around 6,000 pounds you know, based on the size, dimensions of everything. And we'd hired a Black Hawk helicopter to come in and pick this thing off the hill and move it onto a nearby trailer. And the carrying capacity of the Black Hawk helicopter was 8,000 pounds. So we had, you know, 2,000 pounds to play with. But man, when that helicopter came and it hovered over top of the dinosaur and they, they clipped it in, you know, the helicopter neck, they clipped it into the helicopter and you could see the, the Black Hawk helicopter lifting lifting and lifting the specimen wasn't moving and it stood there for a, a couple of minutes and I was like oh my god it's too heavy right it's too heavy fortunately it was just big enough to lift the specimen off the hill and on to a trailer but that was a very nerve-wracking day for for me and my team <laughs> This is a big deal because of the story of discovery, right? I mean, it's, it's just an amazing, heartwarming story where you have three kids 
out looking for fossils in the badlands of North Dakota and discovering the king of all, right, Tyrannosaurus rex. To me, like, that is the most remarkable thing. I mean, that will ignite curiosity in, in everybody, right? I mean, the, if you just get outside, put the iPhone down, get outside and actually start looking, like who knows what you'll find. And from a scientific point of view, this is also a very important find, simply because it's one of only a handful of juvenile Tyrannosaurus rexes ever found. We have a bunch of adult specimens, but we don't have very many younger ones. So this will, you know, helps fill an important gap and, and tells us a lot about how T-Rex grew from a fluffy chicken-sized animal into the you know, megaton uh, predator that it, that it was 66 million years ago. This is one of the most exciting discoveries I've ever worked on. I think it's because of that mentorship angle of me seeing myself in Jessen and Liam and Caden. I mean, to me, that's, that's really special, that, the whole mentorship piece. And then, again, just the raw emotion on the outcrop when we realized that we had a partial skeleton of a Tyrannosaurus rex. It's just a moment I'll, I'll, never, I'll never forget. Uh, and I think it just excites so many people. Right? You can go out and make a cool discovery of a small mammal or of a new species of turtle or pick your animal. <laughs> Nothing excites curiosity and sparks the imagination like Tyrannosaurus rex. I hope this discovery inspires other kids to go out and make more discoveries. There are so many more discoveries to be made. Uh, the best fossils are still in the ground. That's what I always tell everybody. Right here in Denver, I mean, some amazing discoveries have been found within the city limits of Denver. Just amazing dinosaurs, uh, including uh, Tyrannosaurus rex fossils, Triceratops, uh, the, the whole cast of characters that lived with T-Rex are found underneath our feet here in Denver. So I always tell folks to get outside and, and, uh, and just start to look. You just never know what you're going to find. If you look for long enough and hard enough, you will find dinosaur fossils. There's no doubt. <laughs>